Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Mug Music. Before we get started, if you're new or if you haven't done it already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you click on the bell so anytime I have a new video come out, which should be once every week, you'll be the first to know. And also, I've said this before, but I consider this a conversation. Uh, so please comment down below on all these videos if there's something that you can add to the conversation or if you need to make a correction or if there's anything that you need to say whatsoever do so I love that and I I'll talk back so uh, make sure you comment anytime you feel the need so today we're gonna do something really fun we're gonna look at band album covers these are albums that were banned based on having inappropriate artwork or, or artwork that the that the record company thought was probably going to uh, cause some problems so they re, you know reconsidered or some of these actually got released and then uh, replaced quickly because there was so much pushback and I thought this was pretty cool so I wanted to take a look at some of these album covers today now before we get started I want to let you know some of these album covers actually do you know contain some nudity uh, there's going to be some inappropriate stuff and you actually may consider some of this some of the images to be offensive so if you think that's going to be an issue for you or if you're watching this with your kids or if you're if you see your kids watching it you may want to like turn it off uh, it may not be appropriate it will not be appropriate for them so just giving you the chance to do that all right let's get started the first album as you can see here is the mamas and the papas now What's wrong with this picture? What exactly is it about this picture that got banned? Do you know? Well, the album came out in 1966, and did you know that it was inappropriate or it was considered wrong to actually have a toilet in the picture? So they replaced it with this. Basically just taking the toilet out of the picture pretty much all together. I think even later on they even got rid of the back part of it so there was just no toilet in there whatsoever. So that's why this <laughs> this album got banned because of the because it had a toilet. Weird, huh? The next one is Leonard Skinner Street Survivors. This is actually a pretty sad story. Um, as you can see here here's a picture of them. It's them in the street there's flames everywhere you know pretty cool uh picture but what happened right after the release of this album they were this is when leonard skinner was in that uh horrific plane accident and i think three of them perished so all of a sudden this album looked extremely inappropriate so what they did is take the flames out and and just have them standing pretty much in a dark you know like everything in the background was just darkened out so just to be respectful of what happened and uh, I don't blame them but uh, yeah that was just too bad all right the next one is U2 and the album is called Octoon Baby now if you turn the album over this is what the album looks like but they decided to uh, add in a little bonus and that would be Adam Clayton, the, the bassist. He decided to pose n completely naked on the uh, back cover of the album. So eventually they either put a clover over the bonus area or they put a little uh, X mark, which uh, I'm showing here. That's the one that I found. So so if you have one, uh, one of the originals, uh, you may have got the bonus. The next one is from Roger Waters. Roger Waters was a band member of Pink Floyd and he actually went solo. And this is one of his albums. So apparently he thought it would be a really good idea to put a naked hitchhiker on the, on the cover. And eventually they had to uh, put a little black square over it to not show nudity but I think if you look now if you go to like streaming music sites it's it's gonna be it's gonna be the nude one again so so we pretty much don't care uh, about this sort of thing I mean if you watch Naked and Afraid this is pretty common so but back then uh, they found it inappropriate and thought that they should censor it and they did the next one Everybody probably everybody of my age probably remembers this when it was re released. It's open up and say ah, but poison, 
Now, as you can see here, it was like a female demon all in red with this really long tongue that, that put Gene Simmons to shame. And it was deemed inappropriate also. So they fixed it to where all you can see was pretty much across the eyes. And that was pretty much it. But, you know, it's still a pretty wicked picture, if you ask me. But, uh, you know, after it was released, uh, they, they pretty quickly changed it. Now, the next album cover is by The Scorpions, and it's an album called Love Drive. Now, here's the original. And I remember, I've seen this many times. I mean, of course, something like this is going to catch your eye. But basically, you can tell where the man's hand's been because he, he got his hand stuck in gum. Not sure why there was gum there, but I guess we're... Anyway, but uh, this one ended up getting banned because of the picture, and they ended up using this instead, which is not such a great album cover. All right, this one... Um, this is The Black Crows, and this is an album called Amorica. Now, this picture came from a 1976 uh, Hustler magazine. But uh, they ended up replacing it with this. Uh, basically, it's just the triangle bikini, and then everything else is just black. Uh, it's still a little weird, but I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking, but wow. That's, that's a little much. The original was basically just banned by big box stores like Kmart and uh, stores like that so they had to come out with something else that uh, if they wanted to sell records or CDs they were gonna have to come out with something else and they did now the next one I almost didn't put on here because it's so bad this is John Lennon and uh, Yoko and this is the album called Two Virgins this album provoked absolute and it should have <laughs> outrage uh, to the public so the distributors had to uh, put it put like a brown paper bag sleeve over top of it and sell it that way so you couldn't see all of that stuff this this one is quite shocking to me I can't believe now I've got you know I've, I've had to censor the uh, the album cover just because it's it's you know it's them two in all of their glory. <laughs> um, I guess it was just the time they were going through in their lives, and it was just normal to be like this. So they decided to take a picture completely nude for the cover. If you flip the album over, it's a picture from behind. So just more of this. Uh, so anyway, I prefer the cover with the sleeve on it. Um, Actually, I'll be honest, I've never even heard the album, and since Yoko Ono was on it, I pretty much don't care to. Um, but, wow. The next one is uh, Guns N' Roses. Now, this is the original album cover. And basically, I mean, this is, this is I remember this, so I guess this was banned after it sold a little bit, and then it was banned and they had to come out with a new uh, album cover but uh, oh, I mean this is pretty bad I mean this is basically a robot who raped this lady and then you can see the other like bigger robot I guess is going to jump this guy and I don't I don't know I don't it's 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 pretty intense picture so they replaced it with this which we should all be glad because this is extremely iconic. I mean, who doesn't see this and know exactly what it is? So it was just a good thing that they had to change the album cover because it ended up being a really good one. And the last one, and I saved this for last because this one blew my mind the most because I had no idea. This is Bon Jovi Slippery When Wet. Wow. Okay. When I first saw this, I thought it was just somebody goofing around and just creating an album cover because it's just, it's this. Um, they just thought it would be a really good idea to put a lady with a tank top that said the, the name of the album on the front 
and um, the record, record company pretty much were like, we don't think this is going to work. We think this is going to get banned, and it's just going to be a headache. We really need to come up with something else. And I know John Bon Jovi, he actually, <laughs> of all things, he's like, well, I don't like the pink border. So they decided to replace it with the iconic this album cover, which I don't know if you know this, that is a black bag. It's a black plastic bag with water on it and the name Slippery When Wet written into it. Wow, it's just sometimes in this kind of a in, in the kind of a world where you think, you know, where you create things, you feel like everything needs to be over the top and the and the bigger it is, the you know, the greater it is, but this is iconic and it it's a black plastic bag and water and a finger. That's all this is. But this original album cover blew my mind. I mean, I just never expected that from uh, Bon Jovi <laughs> or anything coming from John Bon Jovi. But that about does it for this week. I hope you enjoyed my video. I thought it was so much fun to find all these album covers. There are so many more. That trust me, there are plenty that I there was no way I was going to put on my channel. And there were some from, uh, I mean, actually doing the research and finding these records. I went down these rabbit holes that I wish I had not gone down. I saw record covers or album covers that I cannot believe exist. I mean, there are some really gruesome stuff out there. And just, it's mind-blowing. So, I definitely spared you with, with the selection that I came up with. But anyway... Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. You can find me on Instagram at Red Mug Music. And you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Red Mug Music. And thanks for watching, and I will see everybody again next week.